Yo what up guys, Mr. Big Russ here, back with MBR, or back from MBR Starcast, back with another League of Legends commentary for you guys, it's another live commentary, as you may have seen quickly that I am playing as Dr. Mundo, you might have seen my cool costume I bought from him, I just recently bought him, and I've got this cool sort of gym costume for him, um, yeah, so, that's basically <laughs> that, so, he does, it doesn't look as cool as him, uh, on him as I thought it would, but, uh, it does look pretty cool nonetheless, and it was pretty cheap. It was about 520 riot points, which I had to spend after playing, after buying Exurf. So, you know, I thought I'd go for Dr. Mundo, try him out. I had a couple of games today with him in uh, PvP situations. But I've done alright with him. I had a more deaths than I wanted, but I am building him as a tank. I'm following the guy on Mobile Fire called Off Tank Mundo. Got an upgrade. So, basically, I'm going to be trying to. Uh, build him much as a tank, as much health and armor as possible, and then just have normal damage. So, he's not going to be great at damage per second, but he's just going to be able to jump in battle and so forth. And to make sure that I was going to be able to get the upgrades I want, because he's quite upgrade heavy, or to get the big upgrades and everything, you know, you don't really have them. The armors and stuff are quite expensive, so I decided to get intermediate bots in this game, but following them on, on my series still, trying out all the different characters, or trying to get around trying out all the different characters, so it's only about 10 o'clock at night now, so it's not too late, but I'm going to be heading off to bed shortly as um, I've got work tomorrow, I'm going to be starting my website and bits and pieces for that, so... Um, fun times ahead. I've just ordered my new laptop um, online which is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to wait a couple of days for that and I'll probably make, maybe make a video about it or something around those lines possibly if you're interested in knowing about it or so what sort of PC I use. Um, so I mentioned a couple of videos before about Fraps. So you can check them out in my uh, what video was it? Was it in? I was playing as Cog Cogmore. I think I sort of talked about fraps and how I sort of record the games. But um, I'm currently going to be working on my own website. I do have one up at the moment: www.2009eclipse.co.uk. But I haven't really updated. It's quite a nice sort of looking website. It took me a bit of time to sort of build. Um, but it's not the easiest website to update, and a lot of stuff has actually changed on it now due to. Uh, bits and pieces happening. So I'm going to be working on the new layout, trying to hopefully make it a bit easier and stuff. So hopefully that'll be coming sort of possibly possibly towards uh, end of November time we'll see. I'll see how I, I see how I can do. Um, depending on and see the other websites my main priority at the moment. So already teammate or two people die and Annie Annie can be on against intermediate bots, even though they are bots, they are pretty you know, they're sort of like a newbie player pretty much. They make newbie mistakes but they do do good damage against you. And we're currently battling against Recton and Shogath here. Uh, so um, quite two big big players so it's going to be an interesting battle, but Annie Bot can, if she gets fed a lot of kills, um, like she's already got a kill already, she can become so lethal um, late game, you know. I, I can't explain it until you actually see it, it's weird to think that bots could be that like that, but she becomes super powerful. So you know, when I say that, I mean she just owns owns everyone at life, and uh, we might be able to oh, get one of these at least here. I can use my... Uh, and I may be able to get Shogaf as well if uh, Riven actually decides to come and help me. Uh, no, the minion got in my way. The minion got in the way, no. <laughs> oh, no way. I think I might even die here. Fuck me. That was, uh, I'm definitely going to have to recall now. Hopefully, I hope it wrecked him something in the bush. Shogaf luckily getting away then. Like a little bitch he is. I don't have the um, next item I'm actually rented to get is uh, Giant's Belt. But at the moment I don't have enough uh, money to get that, so I'm going to be following the guy just follow through instead of buying the ran random items I normally do against beginner bots, as I really want to try out Dr. Mundo and see what see what ability he does have, as I always play mages, I've never really played a tank on this game until Dr. Mundo, so it's going to be interesting to see what he's like and if I can get used to sort of playing that tanky bit all the time. I like to be quite sort of aggressive with the likes of sort of Swain and Exerif and also I'm playing Nadal at the moment, or Natalie, I'm not sure how yet, so yeah, someone said her name earlier on how you pronounce it, I've completely forgot. I think it's Nadeel. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but even if you were to write in the comments how you say it, it would just be spout as her name is. So it wouldn't really make a difference until I actually hear someone say her name. It doesn't. It just doesn't stick in my head. But hey ho, it's not the end of the world. But we're with Doctor Mundo today. So enough of that bitch. We're gonna talk about tanks and big machetes. Look at this little butch cleaver he's got here. I just love this move. It's called the uh, Infested Cleaver. 
basically it allows you to throw a cleaver, pretty obvious. Um, as you probably be able to tell it is. Whoa, river man. Get out of there, boy. What are you doing, fool? I can't make me save your ass. Too too high for this shit. I don't want to be all in there trying to help you out all the time. So basically like I was saying, basically what it does, uh Dr. Chando, Chando, uh, Mundo, <laughs> Chando, I'm on Dr. Mundo basically does not use mana whatsoever. He, his attacks all cost him health, which is kind of cool. Um, and that's why you sort of got to play that tank build. You need a lot of health to sort of, and health regen to be able to do those sort of abilities. And I'm not going to be able to get Sugar after right in there. Um, so I'm going to just have to let him go. And Riven says she'll be right back. Alright, mate. Not a problem. So, neither less, so basically it takes its health away, and with this one, I'm going to quickly read it, but chill here. Dr. Mundo hurls his cleaver, dealing magical damage equal to 18% of the target's current health, 100 brackets, 130 damage minimum, and slowing them by 40% for 2 seconds. Half the health cost is refunded if the cleaver hits the target. So basically, if I hit my target like now, I'll get half my health back, but if I miss, then it'll cost me the full amount of uh, 60 health. So it is a pretty nifty move, and if you can get some cooldown reduction, you got to remember this does actually slow them down for a couple of seconds. So it, by slowing them down for two seconds, it again, oh, boom, um, Recton taking it hard right there. I'm not sure what he was really up to. And Shogaf, I'm gonna give chase to Shogaf here. Try and get one of my cleavers off on him, just to make sure that he does actually uh, get slowed down. And Riven, ah oh no. Flipping minion, I've done it again. And I'm gonna try and. Ah! Oh, fuck my life. Not much I can do that. I could probably maybe flash, but I don't think this is really anything gonna happen. It does look like Shogaf once again, get, uh, once again getting away on the mute health. But hey ho, that's the way it goes. So, the other ability which I've got now is called the Magism. Uh, Magis. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. Mazushim, I'm, I guess I'm not really sure how you actually pronounce that, as again, with all the league words, I swear they, where, these come, where they come up with the ideas for the words, I don't have a clue. I want to get a bit of free time, I'll talk about what it actually does. Increases attack damage by 55 for 5 seconds, Dr. Mendo engains additional 0.55 attack damage for each percentage of health he is missing, so basically the more health he's missing, the stronger he is going to get when he, you actually decide to use this. And I'm gonna try and exhaust him. Ah, uh, Riven didn't decide to even do anything. What's, what is the point? You piece of shit. And now Shogat's gonna come and there's a waste of exhaust really, because Riven, Riven should have really got involved. But like I say, when you're not really talking to someone, it's a bit harder for them to know what you're actually gonna try and do. But Recton has come back for for some more, which could be a bad decision on his part. Depends if Riven gets involved. I'm not gonna be able to really take him on. I don't want to scare him too away just yet. Unless I know that I can get a kill on him. And yes. Boom. And that meat cleaver on him. And next upgrade at level 5. It's recommended that we in, uh, upgrade Infested Cleaver. So basically this is your only move you really use. Obviously you do use some of your other mana abilities. Or uh, health abilities or however you want to name them. But your main one is actually just this meat cleaver. Because the fact that you can chase a target down. Slows them down and so forth. And Shogaf. Get it. Die, yeah. So even against intermediate bots, I'm just fucking shit up. <laughs> That's how I roll. So four kills now. Um, so yeah, so I'm quite enjoying Doctor Mando a lot more than I was doing in PvP. Obviously, during uh, against PvE situations are a lot easier. And you know, intermediate bots do think a little bit better. But if you're against decent players, then it is quite a big, big difference. So. My meat cleaver is getting stronger and stronger the, the more I level up and uh, the more I increase the ability power on it. So it's just going to be owning shit shortly. I'm going to chase to a rectum. He will get away easy enough. I don't really have massive health to go into battle with him because I'm still only sitting on the uh, Doran shield. It, I did actually get told by one of my mates who plays League a lot more than what I do and is a lot better, or well, knows the game, well, he was a lot better than me, there's no doubt about that because he understands the game a lot more. He's played these one like 350 odd games. Whoa. And Annie using um, using Ignite on me and Mr. Twiddles. 
almost killing me. I was able to sort of flash out there. Um, I think if I didn't flash, then I think I would have been dead without a doubt. But like I so he recommended instead of going for that first, go for the regrowth pendant, which I will buy shortly during uh, during this video because it is an item I do need eventually. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave it out and follow this guide and see how it goes. Um, so the next item we want to get is Wargong's Warmog's armor, or well, we want to build up to it. There's the regrowth pendant, so probably is the better item to go because it actually builds up to this which is a very good point so hey ho but you learn we you, you live and learn so we are recommended that we go for the giant spout and considering the fact that we and then it is recommended actually i was going to buy the other items to build up to that then but it's recommended that we try and get these shoes next so i'm going to just build up the items to it because i don't have enough money to get it but we're now sitting on 1500 health uh, compared to riven who's a level higher and she's only on so we've got about 400 health more than Riven so it's just kind of interesting to see how we compare in that sort of respect and honestly the more armor I get and the health I get later on it's gonna definitely increase shit more and I'm gonna be a tank I'm just gonna be running through shit and I don't care I'm Dr. Mondo boy supposedly I didn't actually see the skin there's one with him with a briefcase and if you use that he throws like a briefcase at people and papers come out supposedly I'm not 100% sure I believe that's the character they were on about Dr. Mando when they were talking about it I, I was um my own little world I was just daydreaming like do 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 oh we're under attack and we better go kill them but obviously that's not the situation right now and Miss Fortune does not really want to get involved with me right now she has slowed me down right now and I slow she got hit off on me um, I've actually completely the whoa, everyone getting killed because Miss Fortune used her uh, ulti there. Not much I could do about that, unfortunately. And as long as I don't get stunned by any of Miss Twiddles there, I shouldn't be in such a bad position. And both of them quite weak. I should have actually went and got um, this at level four, which I didn't, which is my own fault. Um, but we do have it now. Basically, this just gives you some crowd control. It deals 40 damage. Magic damage to nearby enemies, it's a pretty nifty move, so I could use my ulti right now, which I'm going to do, even with Mr. Twiddles now, I'm not really too fussed about that guy. Um, I am a little bit now, actually, considering the fact that I just died, and I did kill Misfortune, actually. That's what I was kind of aiming for, but I was a bit worried that um, I would kind of mess it up, and you got to sort of forget. Where the problem with this is what I completely sort of forgot, considering I was on quite low health. I did use my ult, and that actually regenerates 40% of maximum health over 12 seconds, and additionally gains 50 movement speed, so that's why I did get faster. But it's burn and agony what I used, which did cause quite a bit of damage. Um, takes off 20 health per second you got on, so it does literally eat through your health, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a pain, but nonetheless... Um, it's all gravy. I'm just currently uh, fixing my sister's laptop for her. So why well, she? Because um, I'm a nice, I'm a nice private like that. But we do have enough uh, money to buy our Mercury treads now. So let's get on with this shit. And it does look like Annie is going to be running through there. I don't know if Timo has spotted him. If Timo really gets involved, um, then he could kill them. But he does look like he's having a bit of a problem himself, and he is actually dead. A nice play by Rivener. Jumping in front of the Annie bot and uh, getting the kill very nicely. That's pretty swift and he is going to come in battle with Shogaf right here and he should be able to pick off Shogaf easy enough. Um, not a wise move by Shogaf here there and I'm not going to be able to give chase to Shogaf really. I think Rimmish actually got the kill then. Quite surprised she actually didn't but if... Uh, oh she's going for it, she's going for it. She went for it, fair play to her, she did hit the exhaust off on them and uh, getting a kill, so that's the main thing at the end of the day. And that is going to push her up to three kills, not bad. So the team kind of a bit better together now, and uh, certainly don't want to be going around that way as the turret's still there. And still only level 7 at the moment, lacking behind a couple people. It's not good times, so it's going to get some uh, kills. Did find playing as Dr. Mundo, I don't r actually get very many... many um, minion kills in all fairness, I've only got 7 combat, so pretty much half of what everyone else has got at the moment, which kind of sucks a little bit, but, you know, I'm still helping the team kill-wise, i got 5 kills, that's what it's all about, we are going to come in a battle with uh, Annie here, and she did pop her ulti, it's a regen time on that, I swear she only just popped her on me a second ago, and uh, for some reason, um, Riven decided to get involved there, and Annie popping a knight on her, and that was the end of that, really, and Annie... What are you doing, you fool? 
Try and deciding to try and uh, walk towards the town. I'm gonna have to attack Mr. Tills here unless he's starting to auto attack me. I'm not sure who's attacking. He just does damage all around, and Annie taking a nerd big hit by the tower there. So, whoa, what was that? The fuck me, that flame move. That's what I mean. What the hell? That's unreal. That was. I think that's just her flame move she used then, dealing immense amounts of damage to me right there. I'm gonna try and give chase to her if she's still about. And I think she's heading towards the middle. Um, I guess, well, I assume that's where she would be going unless she's decided to pull back in uh, to base and recall that Shogath and, ah, oh, there she is. She did go over there. So I'm going to try and bring her towards me, keep throwing my meat cleaver because I do not want to be getting in front of that flame throwing move again, because that was deadly just then. Completely, I can't believe uh, that damage that then. That's kind of unreal stuff, and she's going to be getting close to that town. It's going to probably allow me to pick up the kill on the... Uh, this fortune here, I do have exhaust ready, and I shouldn't need to use it. I say that in in hope. I uh, don't want to be in the middle of that. She's ignited me. She has ignited me. Get her, Timo. Oh, she's killed Timo. No way. Oh, uh, Timo did get the kill on her. I can't believe she actually killed her, Timo there. I'm always kidding me. She is just deadly. You can sort of see what I'm, see what I'm on about now. The damage she does, like, she currently already has four kills and she has the Haunting Glade, Haunting Guys, and Doran Spring. So, not much ability you've had, but with the boots as well. <laughs> just, I can't understand it. It's just immense sort of damage what she does do. Um, we can start, start building up towards the. Big armor thing, I didn't really actually catch the name of it. It is the Warmog's armor, I do believe. So I'm going to get my Rico pen, and that basically gives me 15 health regen per 5 seconds. So I'm going to be getting a total of 23, yeah, 23 health regen a second, which is not bad at all. And it looks like Shogath. What's Shogath to do? Just trying to look for River, most likely. So it's Sulkana up there as well. So she's going to be quite easy to take down, but. Uh, Shogun, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. And you did get a nice heal there. She might also heal them, little bitch. Dirty bitch. And uh, I'm going to give chase and might try and focus down on Solgana, even though Riven decided to go for Shogun. Uh, I don't think she can make up her mind who she actually wants. So we need to decide who we're going to take. We need to take one of them at least. Um, we're working on Shogar still. I'm going to pop my ulti here to increase my attack speed. And I don't even know if I'm going to get the kill. Oh, I'm going to have to pull out of there. If anything, that's uh, done a lot of damage there. If we hit, hit some of meat cleaver shots on him, or both of them, um, then I might be alright. It's going to be a tricky one. It's going to be a back and forth battle right here. And, uh, oh, Shogar getting healed. Sorgana is a little bit fast. Sugar, where are they going now, little pussies? As long as I don't think they wait in the bushes for you, as a sort of a PvP would do in a certain situation. Uh, Shogaf behind enemy lines right there. Uh, if he attacks me, that'd be a big bad move on his part. I should have probably could have stood in front of that, but I didn't really want to take the damage. I miss fortune here as well now. Everyone's here, everyone wants a piece of me. And I've only got my little meat cleaver to help me, but it's doing a nice bit of damage at the moment. And Shogaf getting hit by the tower, a little piece of shit. So I don't think I'm going to be taking on three of them any soon. And Riven is here now, so she probably could do quite a bit of damage. If she plays her cards right, she has popped her ulti, so it's going to be interesting to see what she can uh, do. And I'm going to have to flash out of there, I think, otherwise I'm going to die. I do have Ignite on me. Um, Shogaf getting away once again. Ah, uh, Still kind of kidding me, that was my own fault. I did have low health, I should have just uh, stayed away when I had the chance. And Riven, is she going to take the kill on Misfortune? She's not, so... Silly move by me there, or both silly deaths I've had so far. But hey ho, that is the way it goes sometimes. You just make those silly mistakes. But we're ahead, that's the uh, what is the important thing. And I'm, like I say, I'm still, I'm in this only kind of like my third time actually playing as uh, Dr. Mundo, so I'm still trying to get used to him and follow this build order to see what he can actually truly do. Is he the man for the job? That is the question. But I do kind of prefer playing mage sort of classes, I must say so myself. So yeah. Balls. I can't believe I picked up a saw gun now. Such a silly little move. She shouldn't get owned by the minions. Those spellcasters are hungry for blood right there. 
obviously Riven is free at the moment. I was, uh, may, if I have enough time, we we'll, may try and get a video on her. Obviously the classes do reset really shortly in about a day's time, I think they're going to reset, so it's not that much time to actually get around to be making all the videos on all the rest of the characters, even though I would have liked to have played Chen whilst I had the chance, but he will be free another time, so that's not the end of the world. And if that tower is attacking those minions, I might try and move up here quickly and uh, take Sorgana if I can exhaust her. And uh, ah, this geezer is here, Ragton is here to help the day. And uh, pop my ulti. I don't think that's gonna fucking help me. <laughs> no! Run! Oh, Addy! <laughs> Addy, no! Popping that ulti on me. She read that shit. I gotta say, intermediate bots are a lot harder than uh, what beginner bots are, without a doubt. But neither less, they are free silly deaths. Deaths that shouldn't be occurring, and that's why we're playing bots so these deaths can occur now, so I can try and watch the replay back and look and say, well, this is where I went wrong, and this is where I should improve, and maybe this is why I should play Dr. Mando, because I'm not a tank. I'm not used to playing a tank, but a nice kill by Riven there. Very nice. Revenge kill, that's what I'd like to see. Um, but hey ho, that's the way life goes. You gotta think. I don't really do enough damage per second to deal, uh, to be battling them as I have no real ability power or anything, and none of my attacks really do anything with ability power. So I, I really need, I guess, I need to be thinking that my character needs to be with someone, you know, I can take all the blunt of the attack and then they can get the kill. Um, and does it like Shogas will be chasing Riven here? And, uh, she is gonna get away, I hope. Oh, she's going back in for the battle, a little bit of lag, and we should be able to, in all fairness pick him off. I, I'd like to think so. Not with Annie here as well. No! I need to get a kill. And Annie doing an immense amount of damage to me again. A dirty bitch. Dirty, dirty bitch. And, uh, so yeah. Do stuff. At least we killed Shogath. That's the main thing. <laughs> the dead body is a teamer in Shogath. They have been reunited in love one day. And it doesn't. Annie, Annie is going to be given chase to Garen, and Garen has no health whatsoever, so he is certainly not going to be. Want to be having anything to do with Annie? You only get a nice butcher shot on her. Come on, Riven, we can do this shit. She's there. She's there. Don't worry about her, man. She need to get involved. That tower is still there, there. So, and whoa, what is about all that damage that just went down there? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like Riven died during that. We no one should have really died, but the amount of damage. Even I, I suffered a lot of health, and for some reason I popped my ult. My popped my ulti. I didn't even realise. I uh, get a bit too excited during the battle, but we got the kill again, so we're on 8 kills now. Carrying the team, not really carrying the team, we have got a couple of deaths, silly deaths as well. So, yeah, stuff to be improved without a doubt. But I am quite enjoying Dr. Mundo, even though I just missed his last two attacks, that's kind of terrible. And unfortunately, Shogaf not enough range to be attacked by a tower. I think Recton and Sorgana there, that's not even really worth that. Uh, pushing our luck against beginner bots you may be able to have got away with something clever but um, they are all pretty pretty powerful characters and uh, flash 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 even land the flash didn't even let me ah that sucked it was there as well um I should have really got away again through that battle um I don't really know what happened there I guess he silenced me or something kind of sucked hey ho um I can live with that. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn our mistakes. I mean, I'm pretty high at the moment, so I'm gonna put it down. I'm not gonna put it down to that. I'm just gonna put it down to the fact that uh, they're playing rather well, or not necessarily rather well, but they are doing the good damage. You know, I'm just rubbing on that shit. <laughs> um, so we do have Annie misfortune down here. See how many Annie kills we got now? Eight kills. She's already got a flipping Radadon's death cap. That's ridiculous. She's just going to be doing an immense amount of damage shortly. She gets any more kills. Um, so yeah, even I've got 8 kills and I don't have that many uh, decent upgrades. But she does have a lot more minion kills. 48. Compared to my 17, I just understand why I just don't get minion kills. It just does not happen for me for some reason. They just do not come. And that completely missed every minion there for some reason. But it's just not... Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know why it is. Maybe I need to follow a sort of a different build or what. Um, maybe this the uh, the idea is you're just purely a tank and let's say as not playing as a tank really before on League of Legends or as uh, and I never really played World of Warcraft or anything, so I've never really had the option to play sort of as a tank as a character sort of thing. I don't really know how to best use them. So feel free to leave your comments in below how you think I should play Doctor Mando if you think I'm playing them all right. Um, you're free to let me know, but we do have a big battle going on in the middle there, big chase ribbon just chin him. Uh, she has popped her ulti, so she is going to be going into battle with Misfortune there. And does hit exhaust ray, nice, lovely job by ribbon there. Lovely, lovely. That was quite nice. Uh, so we are at 12, so you do want to be greasing that tart e-move. So yeah, good job by uh, ribbon there. Might do a little bit of jungling quickly, get some easy kills here. Or easy gold. Do, do, do. Obviously, it's not the best jungle there to be doing it with, but these things are pretty easy to kill anyway. A nice bit of gold on them. No matter how regen I've got per second anyway, I'm not really going to miss this kind of amount of health anytime shortly. Um, someone obviously called the dogs out and then decided, well, they're too strong for me. I can't have to deal with these dogs, man. Fuck the dogs. Do, 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 do. I hope I kind of hope that Vladimir is free next week, um, or when the new character switch over. Be pretty cool stuff. That's something I certainly do want to try out. So it's gonna be interesting to see who is free and who isn't. Come on, sugar. What you got, boy? Go on, get involved, Garen. Garen is gonna get involved. So let's give him a hand. And Annie's coming over. I am not gonna get involved with Annie. Who she's chasing them. I kind of don't really want to do that. I'm going to pop my ulti here to make sure that we get one of them laced down. Uh, where's my character? Why is my character just standing still? Why won't he move? Well, I see my mouse is just froze now and this is what happens sometimes. And literally didn't get involved in getting a kill. I don't know if I got an assist on that. But yeah. Sucked balls. I hate it. I hate my life. Kind of kind of sucks a little bit. But hey ho. I think we're going to get pop misfortune here. A lot of damage is going to have to be done to her really quickly. She's going to be going down anytime soon. Uh, uh, Sorgana might there. Could have popped um, exhaust off on her, but not really there. I'm popping exhaust off, um, off on uh, Misfortune there, and Riven does get the kill. So I've got two assists drawing that, so that's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I can live with that. Assist is an assist. It gets me a bit of extra gold, and it doesn't like Rectum is going to get away here. Oh, he's got. he does have Guardian Angel though. So we're going to have to watch that, especially that tower attacking us. So we want to try and get this tower down as quickly as possible anyway, even with Shogaf. Oh, Annie. <laughs> Annie's there. Fuck that shit. We can we can leave the tower. The tower can stay. I'm not even dealing any damage on Shogaf there. they got some weird bubble. I think that must be Sagan or something. What does that? Um, so yeah, Shogaf and Ruby's going to die. Yeah. Not much chance of getting out from that. Oh, and Annie's popped out. I haven't really realised her. She even popped her, aren't we? So... Get away from that. Run, Timo! Run, boy! Run! I'm trying to save you, boy. Don't be attacking him if you're gonna keep attacking. I don't understand why, why he done that. You know, he had the perfect chance to get away and he was just like, you know what? Fuck it, I don't care anymore. And just uh, decided to run like a forest. And, uh, Karen is jumping in the fray there and he is not gonna stand any chance of uh, taking any of them down anytime soon. Not in a big bunch like that. All we can hope is that we can sort of uh, get the near our tower and do some good damage like we're doing right now. We can cleave a slur on him as well. As long as Annie or someone doesn't join into the battle midway, we should be able to get the kill easy enough on uh, Shogaf here. And Garen getting the kill and Ash missing her ulti as she tries to steal the kill there. So Bad move, Ash. Bad move. Lucky my... Uh, Lucky my friend, she just stands there in pure agony. She's like, oh my god, she missed my holy. What did I do that for her, you fool? Still with my jungling. Yeah, baby. What you got? What have you got? I I I just been doing this all day. She doesn't matter how for a start. Bitch! Please. So what is passive actually is Dr. Mundo regenerates 0.3%. 3% of his maximum health each second, so even his uh, passive is health. Um, health regeneration. Misfortune pop a ulti there, I can see an ulti going off, I'll see hitting, uh, hitting the. We have to get out there, fine, I'll pop my ulti, so I'll be able to get out there. Right. Did look like uh, 
Rectum popping a Zolti as well, but not much we could have done for Ash or try and revive a death, not with Rectum there, especially popping his ulti. And my Cleaver completely missed him. What an absolute fail. What an absolute. And we do probably have Rectum in the corner here. Very nice damage by Garen there. And he does have Guardian Angels, so we want to be trying to stick on him if possible. And he's dead, and Garen picking up the kill. Nice stuff. And, uh, oh, Miss Fortune now. She's going to be going down like a bag shit. And Garen, once again, getting a kill. Garen, how many kills is that kid on? 19 kills. Just purely beasting life right now. Interesting. He's got quite a sort of attack, attack sort of build, but a lot of players can sort of play him as Dr. Mando, as a sort of a build as Dr. Mando as a tank, pure tank. Can we well be done? So we do have Annie here. Fuck that. Uh, and, uh, Ash literally getting pretty much half her health taken off by that flame there and then also whoa check it out and then also popping Mr. Twiddles or I can't even tip oh, I can't even think what his name is these days. And uh, it does not look good for Garen right there. He is gonna be going down like a bag of balls. And Annie, oh Annie 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 Gotta try and get that kill on Annie, it's definitely worth it. Yeah baby that's what I'm talking about. Luckily able to get a kill. We may be able to kill um, Shogaf. He's going to be a bit of a bitch. He has actually pulled all these uh, crazy ass things on him. But it does look like he's going to get away. There's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. So like Shogaf does fight to live. I uh, don't even know where he's gone. Where do you go, Shogaf? Oh, he's back in the field. He's back in the frame. What a bad man. That kid does not give up. Should be able to get. I should have got an assist on him. I'm going to take out this town and I think I shall call back to base as I have a nice bit of money to get some upgrades and hopefully allow me to uh, do a bit more damage or at least something and quickly kill uh, this guy there. Get the red buff if possible. He's there. How much he does? So let's do this. I'm not really too fussed about how much actual health I lose because at the end of the day I am going to be recording anyway so it does not matter. Who shall die? My cleaver like just went straight through him then if anything. It's kinda of weird. There we go. Sweet. But red buff, which does give me this unit's physical attack, slows the target's movement speed and deal damage based on their level. Which is pretty sweet to be honest. It's gonna allow me to catch up with them a little bit better. So it's now recommended that we do go for the zeal, that's why you went for the dagger earlier on. And after that it's recommended that we get the Spirits Viage, which gives us 30, 30 plus magic resist, 250 health, the passive is a 10% cooldown reduction, unique passive increases your healing regenerative effects on yourself by 15%, so even more heal. And it's then recommended that we go for the Antarma's Impolator, Impolator. Oh, and uh, we won't be doing that just right now as we do have a big push going on here, didn't really notice that they'd even uh, got that far down. And we do have an Annie, who's just not going to be dealing, taking any damage today. She's not taking any mess on. And a misfortune, I would not be doing that right now if I was you, Rim. would not be getting involved in that shit. We should be able to pick Annie off here easy enough. And uh, actually, it did uh, kind of pay off. A bit of lag. Uh, misfortune is dead, though. Uh, no, not misfortune. Riven is dead, unfortunately. And Garen, don't even rob my kill, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I would have been pissed if he just come and we'd be like, yeah, cheers, buddy. So much fortune does die, so it's all good. Shogaf is pushing down the bottom side and it does look like. And that's something I don't really check enough, it's probably my mini map. If I looked earlier I'd have noticed that, but um hey ho. That's the way it goes, so we don't know twelve grand here. So I need to try and find this Intama's Impala. So that does sound a bit like damage if anything. If I do say so myself, it is the forty-five Armor, 80% critical strike chance, unique passive gain attack damage equal to 2% of your maximum health. So that's a really cool move actually, or cool item to get, probably because of the fact that um, the more health I have, the more damage I actually do, which is really kind of cool to be honest. It's just really nice, considering I do have 3597 health compared to Shogas, so I'll look at his. Oh, he's got a quite tanky build as well, so not far off, and he's level 18, two levels higher than me. Kind of sucks. And Ash. Sucking balls, he's level up Ash, man. Sort it out. And uh, Garen get involved. I think everyone else is like, fuck that shit. Me and Garen are just like, whoa! Now we like, fuck that shit. Oh, we're not going anywhere near Annie. I don't think anyone is. Look at Ash. Just twiddles just like, uh, 
taken off at least two thirds of our health there. And I don't really know how much damage I can really do here. Looks like Garen is going to die, and uh, <laughs> I don't even know who to try and go for right now. Because I probably am going to get ganked in a second by one of them. I'd probably be like, oh my god, so, uh, Sorgor is under trouble, so we better go help her. And uh, maybe maybe not. Maybe the Oh, shit, bag. I swear down if this bitch gets out alive, I would not be happy right now. Um, we did eventually kill him. <laughs> it took our time. There's a uh, rectum's in our base, probably destroying our super intimidator. So we need to go take him down. He's taking big damage there, so he does have Guardian Angel once again. It does look like it's uh, fired back up, so we are going to have to wait for him to come join the fray once again. And he's going to die quite easily. And like, it did actually pick up the kill for once without Garen uh, taking it. And Shogas down the bottom. I'm going to quickly do a little bit more um, farming, I guess you can put it. Kill these two guys here. They'll be easy enough to kill. Get me some gold so I can buy these May upgrades. That's the idea of this video, so we can find out his upgrades. Yeah. Alright, Misfortune is in the middle. Uh, definitely going to get there in time. Shogaf is coming as well, so. Look how big he is. The almighty Shogaf has entered the arena. He is just so purely big when that kid gets going. Or when after he's at so many humans or whatever he does, he when he eats people, he gets them bigger. So, uh, Misfortune is run. Uh, no, not with fucking. I think that was Annie coming down, so. I oh know, Solgana. Um, which isn't too bad, but I don't have even with my ulti, I wouldn't be able to take both of them out. It'd be kind of uh, ridiculous to think that I could. But I could possibly. Oh, Garen's here. Fair enough. Let's pop my ulti down. Uh, and then oh, Shogas here. Shogas here. Shogas here. Shogas here. And Shogaf not getting involved for some reason. I don't know what he's up to. And Garen picking up the double kill. Very nice. We're going to have to, uh, whoa, look how big Shogaf is. We are all here, so we should be able to quite easily uh, tank him out one way or another. And we haven't picking up the kill. Very nice, very nice indeed. So, not bad stuff. So, I'm going to, uh, oh, I don't think we kill, ah, I'm going to kill this guy. Get my buff quickly before I recall. cool. Might as well get as much gold and buff things and whatnot before we actually go back to base. It's kind of worth just going back to base empty-handed when you can get that little bit more. It might be able to allow me to buy up uh, an uh, upgrade as well, so certainly starting to feel the powers of uh, Mr. D or Dr. Mundo, not Mr. Dr. Mundo, just Dr. Mundo. It can't be a Mr. and a Dr. Mundo. <laughs> but, so yeah, 12 kills, 4 deaths, all been silly deaths. I can't remember how I died the fourth time, but I know 3 of them have definitely been silly deaths. All could quite easily be avoided, but hey ho, can have enough money to buy my Antarmus implant, which should allow me to do it a lot a lot more damage and now I do have a full list of items for some reason um, so I'm gonna have to sell my Doran shield for now and it does recommend that we go for the force of nature and this is gonna give me enough 15 health regen a second anyway so let's go for that bad boy and see what uh, see what we can do let's go fuck some shit up and it did actually recommend I didn't realize that again we go for the phantom dancer before the uh, thoughts of nature so we will work on the phantom dancer next anyway because we do have zeal that's why we have zeal I was kind of wondering a bit really why we had that then but I now do realize my my mistake but uh, it's not at the end of the world we do need the Rico pendant one way or another instead of the actual darn shield so so in all fairness considering the fact that you'd have to sell darn shield anyway it is probably best uh, go for the Rego pendant because it is pretty much goes towards a lot of items so yeah boy alright we do have Recton and Shogaf in centre both who now have Guardian Angel obviously Recton's on a cooldown this is a 5 minute cooldown but Shogaf does have his active so it's going to be interesting to see how how we can deal with them because Shogaf's built like a tank as well but we shall find out let's see what we can do then See if this uh, actual impaler of mine, which is going to do so much hard damage, can do enough. And we do have Teemo here. Good man, Teemo. Join the battle. Oh, very nice one. Yeah, she has the tech source. There's just a uh, rectum's here now, so I'm not sure what really to do about that. Along with Misfortune coming as well. I'm just going to have to get out of there, I'm afraid. Do a flash ready. So, if Misfortune gives chase, could be a bad. Oh, she popped a 
I just see bits of the oldie coming out of the bush. Uh, I have popped my ultimate to make sure that we do fuck this bitch out. Just in case. We did exhaust her. I just want to make sure we get the kill. This late on, you know, it's, it's a bit hard to get the kill, so. And it does look like we're going to. might be able to battle out Rectum quite well here. We'll see what we can do. See how tanky I am. He is scared. That's what I like to see. This is how. This is what I like, and I'm really starting to get into Dr. Mundo now. He is starting to become quite a beast. Whoa, I thought Garen got the kill, then I was actually about to go. <laughs> I'll probably like cry. If, uh, but unfortunately, not for Garen. That was my kill. Even though he was nowhere near us. He obviously, I think he killed Annie or someone then, so. It's all gravy. Use a bit of health, I punch to kill these little bad boys. They were minions. Um, and we do have a Sorgana who looks to be battling Ash there. And the Diz is going to pick up Ash. She's only still level 15. So pretty new to the game, I take it. I mean, she could possibly go for Baron, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to sail a Baron. That would be kind of ridiculous. And is she going to be. What's she up to? Maybe she saw me coming. I don't know. She did see me coming. I what she's up to. Um, I'm going to pop my ulti, though. Because uh, the fact I'm going to be recording in a second anyway. So. Uh, the cooldown is not a massive deal to me. So might as well pop it now and allow me to get a bit more health and make, try and pick up the kill before any of her teammates come. She is fucking fast, though. Teemo, don't even bother fucking trying to. Good man, Teemo. What the fuck, Teemo? That was bullshit. I swear, Teemo didn't even do anything then. And even he puts question marks, so. <laughs> I don't even know what happened there, so that was kind of. Kind of weird shit, and I record a bit too early. Don't have enough money to play my not to nature, even though we do want to go for the Phantom Dancer, which we can afford. Yay! So it's going to give me 55 attack speed and 30% critical um, damage, along with 15% movement speed. And I don't know if anyone could tell me in the comments below how Timo just got that freaking kill. Um, I know that he, he was a good man, he decided that it was my kill, I'd done all the work, and he's going to let me have it, which respect to him, you know, not a lot of people will actually do that, especially against bots and when they're not your teammates, so um, I, I regard his uh, credit for doing that, but somehow he's still able to manage to get the kill, which is really kind of sucky. Shogaf is he even going to bother to have help uh, Rekton, I don't think, think he really cares, he's just like, fuck that shit. As long as it's not me, I don't care. <laughs> And he did decide to try and uh, use that move to try and take us down, or at least um, knock us up in the airborne, and it did not pay off for him. And it is going to be his last dying word right there, especially with Garen doing some nice damage to him. Um, boo. Oh, whoa, Garen getting the kill. I was wondering what happened, I was about to say, he should have died. Sweet. Good stuff. Let's go kill some more minions to make sure we get the gold, but we've pretty much got this in the bag now, without a doubt. And there's only one there. Lols. Epic lols. Uh, let's kill this bad boy. Let's see what you can do now. I'm level 18 now, bitch. What you got for me? Is that all you got? Is that all you have got? Oh, I kind of waste. But hey, yeah. Let's do this. Garen, who's now on 27 kills. Almost double the amount I have. Just fully in there. He doesn't even care about the tower. He's just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And uh, we just tanking it. Let's fucking tank it, Garen. We're beasts. We do this shit. Do this shit. Yeah, boy. That's how we roll. We just break down towers. We don't care. And uh, Rector has been given chase to Riven right there. So we try and help her out. But we're going to actually be able to get a kill on him because he's so close to the kind of tower. For some reason, I shouldn't really stop my move then. I should have carried that on. Uh, oh. <sighs> did I get the kill? I did, yes. Sweet! That's how we roll. Legendary. Oh, Annie's there. Oh, Annie! She wants me dead. Hop on her ultimate, and also again, I was kidding, looking at Ash, and he did obviously hit, um, did hit the old, uh, Ignite on Ash. So, fortunately for Ash, not getting away this time. Oh no, Annie, what you got, bitch? We're going for it. This is where the battle begins. This is how we roll. We don't fucking care. Tanking the shit. This is how we roll. Come on, fucking Garen, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck Garen getting both kills again. The bitch, man. I was helping you there, man. You wouldn't be able to do this. She would help me, boy. Could at least took one for one. But hey, hey. 
Once again, got the kill, and he's gonna come now and be like, fuck it, you know what? I can, I can help you kill uh, Sagano or Sargo. Yeah, that kill off you as well, you know? Because I'm cool like that, I'm cool, man. We, we play fair like that, don't we? And I'm getting ready for it, getting ready, getting ready. And, uh, ah! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> now misfortune, everyone's just dying. This fucking everyone is just dying. Oh my god, I cannot get any of these kills. Even with my last timey uh, throws to try and get something from it, but hey ho. So we have 20 assists, that's like 20, uh, he only has 11 more kills, he said I helped him every one, but obviously I haven't, I've helped Ribbon, a couple other people on Teemo and stuff, but it does look like we are going to win this game, and almost getting all my items, not far off, did have the money to get all the items, so I'm very impressed with uh, Dr. Mundo at the moment, let's fucking fuck this guy up instead, fuck, fuck getting the tower, just yeah, let's fucking get all the kills man, and Garen is going to fucking piss off for once, he's going to let me get a fucking kill. Oh no, he's back. I don't know what he's up to now. We should be able to kill any. Yes. That's why we roll. And one more, and now if we don't attack this, um, Min's gonna kill it off. But we're gonna try and pick up the kill, a couple more kills if we can. Get anything when we get there. I can't see us getting this. Oh, flash, 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 flash. Do not want to be dying at the end of the game. That would really suck. And that, that is the end of it. That is the end of game. Just do my little dance. Not much of a dance, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, good game there, guys. Obviously that was against intermediate bots, so it's a little bit more tricky. But I think I got in the end uh, 19 kills or something, 18 kills and four four deaths with 20 assists. Not too bad, you know. Teamers sort of third time played them. Um, you know, able to get the items, the big up items, sort of like the Wargun's armor and. Uh, uh, Atama's Impala and the Phantom Dance and the Spirit's vis Visage and all just getting my thoughts on nature, obviously having the money for it, but unfortunately didn't have the time to go back to base, so hope you enjoyed guys it's been, obviously been a bit longer than the other couple of games because the intermediate bots is a little bit more tricky, but I do have some PvP content coming my way, I know I keep saying that, but I just need to get around to actually um, recording over it because I'm using a replay system which I'll talk about during the video when I actually do it, so uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed guys nonetheless um, keep watching keep keep playing League of Legends guys, you know, I don't really know where I'm going with this but definitely if you're not playing League of Legends, get on it guys, if you do have a League of Legends account feel free to drop your username below and I will add you on the game we, if, and when I'm playing against some bots, if you want to join in or if I've got enough room on my party when I'm playing with some friends, um, then you're more than welcome to tag along, so, nevertheless this is Mr. Big Russ from MBR Starcast peace guys <laughs>